And hi everyone, welcome to the Ken Singleton Celebrity Golf Classic here for the Cool Kids Campaign. I'm John Daly along with former Major League player Ken Singleton and my longtime buddy Lee Moore. <laughs> Not your old buddy, your longtime right. buddy. Speaking of longtime buddies, this is a guy we've come to know and love Absolutely. because Kenny Singleton, you host the event, mm -hmm. you get your friends to come out here, they all know it's for a great cause, and again, but great to see you back. Hey, it's all for the kids, Lee. The fact is, Cool Kids Campaign is near and dear to my heart, and you guys too as well. We appreciate your support. A lot of my former teammates, a lot of former NFL players are out here, and they're all out here to support the Cool Kids Campaign. And what we're trying to do is help out some families that are dealing with cancer issues, kids in particular, and their families. Just make things easier for them if we can as they try and beat this dreaded disease. I don't think there's a family in America or certainly all everybody in America knows somebody who's dealing with cancer and maybe one day in the maybe I won't say near future but in the future nobody will have to deal with this again and then when that happens we'll pick up another cause to deal with and help people out so we want to thank everybody out there who's supported the cool kids I know I've gotten a lot of letters and cards from people who've made donations to the cool kids campaign from all over the country and we appreciate your help now for the next half hour we're gonna we're gonna show you some golf it might not be the best of golf but we're gonna show you some golf but we're gonna make you laugh we're gonna make you cry as Kenny says it's it's, it's all about the kids and the, you actually got a chance to talk to some of uh, some of your buddies that you brought in last night at the parents party. they were very kind to come on camera you know some of them are, well they're not shy you know they, they've been on camera before they're seasoned veterans in all sports uh, Bruce Laird was on he's former great Colt we had Gary Carter Hall of Fame catcher who was a teammate of mine with the Montreal Expos and Gary was kind enough to come up from, from Florida to help us out here but the, the guys that I talked to last night were all enthused of course they like to play golf but they're enthused for the cause as well all right, let's go take a look at what happened last night. Thank you very much, John. I'm here with Gary Carter. We're here at the event, uh, the pairings party tonight, and everybody seems to be having a good time. We've got a good crowd out here tonight, and I would sincerely want to thank Gary Carter, Hall of Fame catcher, for coming. People don't realize, you know, they think of me as an Oriole in these parts, right. but I came from the Montreal Expos, and yeah. we were together in Montreal, yes. and Gary was on, as you could see, he was a young kid at the time. <laughs> in fact, that, that nickname stuck, yes, it did. but you could see that he was on his way to a great career. We didn't know he was going to lead to the Hall of Fame, but Gary, we wanted thank you for coming tonight. Well, singing, it's a pleasure. You're an old hat at this now yeah. with all the broadcasting skills that you've had. And I just wish we would have had an opportunity to play together a little bit more. But you were very instrumental in uh, tagging me the, the nickname of the kid, you and Mike Torres. And, uh, you know, it stuck with me. And to be 56 years old and still be wow. called the kid, it's kind of nice. Yeah, you know? that's, that is nice when you'd still be a kid at 56. Exactly. But, uh, you know, after we nicknamed you the kid, I don't know if the Expos liked it or not because they traded Mike and I to Baltimore, if you remember know, correctly. Yeah. For Dave McNeil. Nally, who then uh, was uh, three and six or something like that and yeah. then retired yeah. so they got a great deal Baltimore did probably the best trade in their history getting mm -hmm. you and Mike Torres but nevertheless you know singing you you had a great career as well and now it's led into your broadcasting career and to have this golf tournament it's a pleasure to be here with you and I would do anything for you as you know and it's for the kids <laughs> But one thing that's always constant, you're always here for the cool kids. Well, they really are. You know, I, I love uh, Robbie Belanger. I love Chris Federico. These guys are tireless workers for these children. And my God, if you've ever seen them, you got to love them to death. I mean, they need a chance in life, and there's nothing better than giving back for the children. That's what this whole thing is all about. We all get together. We get to see our old pals, Eddie Murray, you know, all of them come in. Uh, for this event. I mean, people from everywhere across the United States, they fly them in. And, you know, and it's great to see them all, but anything, but the bottom line is, you know, we do it for the children, and there's nothing better than those little, unbelievable, I love them all. And the great thing is we've seen results for a lot of these kids, too. Oh, yeah, you, you know, you, you, you give them an opportunity to have joy in their life, and what better can you do? I mean, the good Lord's the only one that can determine what's going to happen with these children, but we can help, and that's what it's all about. With me now is a man who needs no introduction in these parts, uh, Bruce Laird, former Colt great. And Bruce, we want to thank you for being with us uh, tonight at the pairings party and uh, playing golf in tomorrow's tournament. I'm sure you're going to have a good time, and we 
appreciate your support. Hey, Singy, there's nothing better than being part of the community. You've stayed here your whole career. I have too. We're, you know, athletes giving back, mm -hmm. especially to cancer victims and these young children. Mm -hmm. I can't be more proud to be part of your organization and the cool kids. When you think back to the days with the Colts, and I'm sure there's enough fans out there to remember the great Colt teams, and of course, led by Johnny Unitas, and uh, just maybe you can inform the fans what it was like to play for the Colts in those days. You know, it, it was so incredible to, to get drafted here mm -hmm. and to be a part of this great history and again to be a part of this community mm -hmm. with you guys starting this whole thing off with the likes of Palmer and Boog and, and, and all the guys, all the great guys. We had such a great camaraderie and we all just won. Uh -huh. You know, our generations, your generation was just one and one and one and uh, we all stayed here, which made it kind of really, really special for all of us. Should I ask you about your golf game and how you've been playing lately? I tell you what, don't tell my bosses, but I've been on a hot streak lately. <laughs> I've been on the golf course for a while. I'm playing really well, playing the best I have in a while, which doesn't mean anything because it's a renter swing. Uh, yeah. <laughs>Marvin Gaye and Barry White. Oh, baby. Yeah, you, baby. Front row. You too, hot mama. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back the feelings for so long. You want to what? Let's get it on. This year, over 12,000 kids in the United States will be diagnosed with cancer. Being told your child has cancer can devastate a family both emotionally and financially. That is why the Cool Kids Campaign is devoted to helping these children and their families. The Cool Kids Campaign helps these families pay their bills, sends gifts to the kids, and publishes a one-of-a-kind newspaper, The Cool Kids Connection. For more information, you can visit our websites at coolkidscampaign.org and cancerfearsme.org. Hi, I'm Teddy Bruschi. And I'm Jerome Bettis. For years, we knocked heads on the football field every time the Pittsburgh Steelers and New England Patriots play. But now we're teaming up to help people all across America who are uninsured and struggling financially. It's the Partnership for Prescription Assistance, and it's already helped more than 6 million Americans in need in all 50 states. If you or someone you know needs help paying for medicine, call 1-888-4-PPA-NOW or visit our website at www.pparx.org to see if you may qualify. It's a free service, a free phone call, and you can get your medicines for free too. Winning the Super Bowl is a great feeling. Winning three is even better. But so is helping millions of Americans who are uninsured and struggling. Call the Partnership for Prescription Assistance toll-free number now. The PPA team is standing by to help. Hey, you know I was just kidding about the three championships. Well, if you have
I'll give you a bonus if you're a Bruce fan. First half of the impression, old Bruce. Second half, new Bruce. I'll hold you in my arms In the band way In all the world with her hand <laughs> Don't make me laugh on the impression. Uh, that care was great last night, wasn't it? <laughs> I tell you what, he makes me laugh and entertains me. I tell you, the guy is great. Yeah, no doubt about it. Welcome back, everybody. Here we're at the Ken Singleton Celebrity Golf uh, Classic here, and uh, we're out here at Hunt Valley. And uh, there's a lot of great sponsors out here who have been a, behind the Cool Kids campaign, and they're out here playing golf. And each one of them, they're paired with a different celebrity, mostly sports celebrities. Yeah, we got uh, three Hall of Famers: Eddie Murray, boy, could he hit a baseball. Absolutely. Gary Carter just one of the all-time great catchers and Jim Palmer, one of my favorite pitchers. He just seemed like he threw nothing but strikes. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely, one of those great motions. In fact, we're going to find out if his pitching motion is as great as his golf motion, but he, he's a pretty good golfer, too. Let's go out and take a look at some of the action. I want you to have a great day today, have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to be brief here. I know we want to get started. Just one more thing. Just don't let Blair win again this year. We're going to have to hear about it all, all this year in the upcoming years. So everybody have a good time. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for coming today sincerely and helping out the Cool Kids campaign. Thanks again. It's going really great out here. Actually, it's a great spirit. These guys can hit the ball a mile. They're a great group of guys to play with, So, and it's all for a great cause. You're with Tony from Dancing with the Stars. Is he doing some dancing? What's going on out here? Uh, you know, well, he's the second best dancer here, so it's, uh, it's a little tough for him, I think. But other than that, he's playing pretty good golf. Actually, thanks, John. I'm glad you admitted that I'm the first, I'm the best golfer here and dancer here. <laughs> <laughs> It's going very well. We've all of a sudden caught fire. We had birdied three in a row, and then we just uh, eagled that one. So in the uh, six holes we've played, we're five under. And it's all because of their great putting and uh, team play. And that's what it's all about. And it's also for the kids. So what's it like to play with uh, an MVP? Well, it's a treat getting to know him. Great guy. But also, he's, uh, he's carrying us out here. He's got a great arm. He's putting it out there. Victor Green's a pretty good golfer. I had the pleasure of playing with him the other day. How's it going now when it counts? It's going fairly well, though. I got some guys that make some putts. You know, I'm trying to, you know, get the drive going, so they leave us some short shots in, but they're making the putts count. And you know what? It's for the right reasons. For the right reasons. Can't beat it. So, a lot of posing today? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. Mm. We're running the golf tournament. Running around to each hole yeah. and getting pictures with? Yep. Everybody getting a chance to say yep. thank you to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a yeah. little personal thank you for all the donations and support and help and um, all the little things love. and all the yeah, all the love. Yeah, this group has been a part of our whole cancer journey, and yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like without them. Yeah, me either. From the little things to the huge. Yeah. And it's been it's been a beautiful ride. Beautiful ride. Mm -hmm. We're coming to a very bumpy part. Yeah. But um, you know, cool kids would be here with us and help us through. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mark Gleason, you know what this is all about. The golf is fun, but the cause is real. Spencer's friends, a real supporter of this organization, of this effort. Yeah, we have a very common goal in terms of uh, the foundation that we have, Spencer's Friends and the Cool Kids Campaign. Uh, we, we firmly believe in what they're doing and the difference that they make in the children's lives, and that's what it's really all about. So um, we, we were personally touched by, uh, by this pediatric cancer, and um, so it's, it's, it's led us to just want to do better things and positive things, and we couldn't do it with a better organization than Cool Kids. You know what? It makes missing putts put that in perspective, doesn't it? It does. Well, we've been fortunate. We haven't missed any putts today, so we've been doing really well. So I don't want to jinx ourselves, but we're doing really well. Congratulations. So good, good luck good. the we're rest well. of the way. Another nine holes. Go get them. Appreciate it. Thanks, Lee. Hey, Thanks, guys. See you here year after year after year. Tell me, why do you do this? 
Um, this year, really, mostly for Mackenzie because I've been here the last couple years, and she's sort of been the poster child for the cool kids every time I've been here. And this year, they're only giving her six months now. So, even, you know, I've been pretty exhausted. I've been to Europe and, and to California and back to Nashville and to Kentucky, and I'm really on low sleep, and I really didn't want to. I'm exhausted, but I had to come. This particular endeavor, Cool Kids, um, I was introduced to it a few years ago with Chris and uh, Sharon and uh, absolutely thought it was the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. why, why are you guys here? I'm actually on the board of Cool Kids and I believe in it. Um, I have three healthy, beautiful children, two beautiful grandchildren. The community's been good, and I want to give back to children that aren't as fortunate and have illnesses. And I fully believe in cool kids. It's a good cause. We're out here today because uh, we want to support the Cool Kids campaign. Our association, the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, member companies make lots of products we help are gonna we hope are gonna help kids uh, with cancer in the future. You know the cool things they were doing, like with kids having birthday parties that might not ever have a chance to have one and not knowing how long they were gonna be on this earth and doing some exciting things for them, you know, and what a better cause than to come out and try and help. It's hit a house and it's hit a house and trees. <laughs> Landed in the bush. <laughs> tell you when you meet the folks that are involved with the Cool Kids campaign, it puts it all in perspective and you really want to be a part of helping out and uh, we're thrilled to be a part of it. hear the term cool kids. We know what it's all about. Those of us that have come out, some of you may not exactly know, but three people, Chris, Rob, and Sharon, all know what the foundation's about. It's all hard work. Today it's fun. Today play golf, raising money. More importantly and equally importantly, raising awareness. It's a real job. It's a real effort. But right now, how are things going? Things are going well, considering how you know we've gotten through the economy. It's rebounding. Uh, our sponsors for this event are coming back and supporting us very well. And you know the money that we raise for this event goes into our programs for the cool kids, and that's the care packages that we do all around the country. And we do our Cool Kids Connection, which is a nationwide newspaper. We send that to every pediatric oncology hospital in the United States, and uh, that's w really well received by the kids. It's written by the kids for the kids, and we also you know are working on and want to start our new project, the Learning Center. I was going to say that's not a big secret, now, is it? That's right, yeah. Close to yep. reality, maybe, yep. of, of, of building this dream place, a Learning Center. Yep, yep, and it's really, and Sharon can elaborate more about it. started talking about the Learning Center in September after four years of talking to these families and really learning what the, the kids are missing out in their one to three years of treatment. That includes um, their education, they fall behind in their schoolwork due to their attendance in and out of school and the fact that the chemotherapy really does affect a lot of their cognitive abilities. Um, emotionally they really start to feel you know different from the other kids when they're in a situation where they stand out because of the cancer diagnosis. So we want to give them a place that they can come to where they are just like everybody else. Um, everybody, if they've lost their hair or they've seen that in the hospitals, um, and so they don't feel different, and that gives them a place where they really belong. And we'll be having tutors, I'll have one-on-one -on -one tutoring that'll work with whatever you know, subjects they need to be caught up on. Um, just a place where they really feel really safe and really just like everybody else, which is really important when you're a child. So 
College of Education and several of the other units on campus are beginning to talk with cool kids and what we can do and help them uh, to achieve the goals they have for the, for the program. As we take another time out, let's go to one of my favorite entertainers, and if you ever see him, he'll be one of yours, Care. Keeps me searching for a heart of gold when I'm getting old. Is that bleeding? Keeps me searching for a heart of gold. This year, over 12,000 kids in the United States will be diagnosed with cancer. Being told your child has cancer can devastate a family both emotionally and financially. That is why the Cool Kids Campaign is devoted to helping these children and their families. The Cool Kids Campaign helps these families pay their bills, sends gifts to the kids, and publishes a one-of-a-kind newspaper, The Cool Kids Connection. For more information, you can visit our websites at coolkidscampaign.org and cancerfearsme.org. Hi, I'm actor Jerry Mathers of Leave it to Beaver. Things have changed a lot since the days of black and white TV, but good values and doing the right thing never go out of style. That's why I'm working with the Partnership for Prescription Assistance to help people get the medicines they need. If you are uninsured and struggling, call our toll-free number or visit our website to see if you qualify. It's a free service, a free phone call, and in many cases, your medicines could be free too. Remember, help could be just a phone call away. These are the team awards. And finishing in third place with a 56. My goodness. The group that was paired with Jack Marin today. Ed Spino, John Mazzullo, and Roger Blumenthal. 56s. Unbelievable. Okay. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for coming. Okay, finishing second, also with a 56. The group that was with Victor Green, Mark Gleason, Pat Dorn, Greg Dorn, and Chip Luera. 56. Come on up, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Victor? Our two-time winner. Way to go. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. And now for the winning group, with, uh, which goes with that, is bragging rights for a whole year until next year's tournament. Rick Serrate. Where's Rick? All right, Rick. Tom Young, Damon Ward, and Tom Lucas. Congratulations. On the money. These guys did it all. Hey, my team did it all, but I got to say, you know, I'm a rocker. I'm not supposed to be pro athlete, am I? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks. As we take a time out, we want you to listen to Keir. What an entertainer. Uh, here's the Dylan part. You don't have to be rich. 
You don't have to be rich to be my girl. I just want you extra time. <laughs> this year, over 12,000 kids in the United States will be diagnosed with cancer. Being told your child has cancer can devastate a family both emotionally and financially. That is why the Cool Kids Campaign is devoted to helping these children and their families. The Cool Kids Campaign helps these